if a guy got with a girl, the high body count, and then that type of drama happened, you could see how like that trauma could be contributed to her past. Yeah. And why it's better for guys to get with a woman with less body count because more or less likely you might not have to do with that drama. I think these women, though, that have, have high body counts, I think a lot of them refuse to get help within therapy. Like, I mean, at least with me to understand, like, I actually went to the therapist before and I'm just like, hey, like, why do I have these urges of sleeping around? Like, it's in my my, my chemical program. Like, I have commi- I do have commitment issues, not going to lie. Like, having a bo- high body count, I do have commitment issues. So then- only because the guys that I was dating, I picked the wrong guys to be with in my 20s. And I didn't look at the red flags. Well, same thing. So then that right there tells you again, okay, so if you picked all... So the thing... So let's, I went look, to therapy. let's look at this. Let's say all your bodies prior to were all bad picks, right? The 10... We'll only talk about the 10. Okay, we'll only talk about 10, right? The, non, the, non, the non-work-related bodies, right? So if they're all bad picks, right? And you mean you come across each other? You have a ba- you have a history of picking real bad choices. You have you have made some bad decisions. You made ten real bad decisions. I'm not sure I really want to invest in somebody that makes that many bad decisions. Do you see how like again body count does matter to guys but when someone- we're factoring? You could say but in, in 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 a hypothetical and you know the small group over here that that could work through the trauma and whatever they get counseling. That's fine, but that's not the majority. Majority needs to go to therapy because the majority of women. Are not told they have a problem. Yeah. Majority of women are not being told, hey, you know what? But they don't take accountability. So then again, a woman that doesn't take accountability for all her sexual past is not a good woman to invest in for a guy that hasn't, you know, that doesn't that, that wants it to long because again, you just pointed it out. She, I wouldn't want a guy that has like 10 bodies though, because it's like you know, here's the thing: like everybody thinks that like you need to have a whole bunch of bodies to get a lot of experience. That's not true. You could get married and have one partner and practice the Karma Sutra, all the moves and everything, and and everything that you have shot on camera. These one couple could practice at home and get the same amount of experience without all the bodies. Okay. So it's not it's not just one factor, right? It's not just one factor. So a girl with a high body count, that's a huge disqualifier, right? But, what but it's I'm, not the but, only disqualifier. But what happens is she is sane, she is polite, she cooks, she cleans. If she was sane, and- if she was sane, why would she squander her value? If she knows her value is sexually, right? Because guys are success objects, women are sexual objects. So if she knows that her her value is in her sexuality, right? Why would she squander it and let everybody have it? That means she just did bad investments. I don't. I don't think about like everybody having it because it's like I don't know. Excuse okay. Me. Okay. So if the average woman has a thing that's like seven, seven bodies in her lifetime, right? No, the average woman actually has forty bodies. The average woman has forty bodies. I just looked it up. The average woman has forty bodies. So if the average woman has forty bodies, I mean, forty guys have already hit it, and you want me to get with you. I'm like, well, I don't want anything average. I don't want to drive an average car. I don't want to be an average looking guy. I don't want to live in an average house. And I don't want an average wife. So if the average woman has 40 bodies, I don't want nothing average. Shouldn't guys, if guys are success objects and they're they're, they're the top tier guys, why should they settle for average? Because a lot of them do already. (laughs) Just because a lot of them do doesn't make it right. I think I think I think if a woman does have a high body count, it, it it goes into that proceed with caution because not all of them are bad. Yeah, but you know what? Ho is in housewife. You can say all that all you want, but here's the thing: not all of them are bad. I can stick my hand in a barrel of snakes; not all of them are going to bite me. But guess what? One of them will. And why the fuck would I want to do that? Sounds like a Darwin Award. <laughs> <laughs> but you see what I'm saying, like. Not all hoes are going to do that to you. Not but all hoes are bad. Hoes need loving too, yo. Yes, and they charge a premium for that loving. Three nine nine a month to watch Kazumi get railed on OnlyFans. So, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you know, it's like... There, it's not saying that there's no fixing them. There is. And there is. But it's like, the girl has to be wanting to 
give up so much in order to get to, to do yes that. and i think there are women that can give up that though. but that she has to want she has to give that up before people make mistakes because cause here's the thing if if she does it oh because i want him then she's not doing it for her she's doing it for him right yeah so she needs to do it for herself get out of the lifestyle get you know clean up her act whatever and start living that life that she wants to live with somebody else before she gets with them just like a guy that like tries like change for a girl and then it doesn't work out and then he's like upset about it. It's like he wasn't even doing it for himself. He was doing it for her. Well, yeah, people should never change themselves so to make then, someone else happy. So if I a did girl, that, if a, if a girl is a 304 and she wants a guy to settle down with her, she needs to stop being a 304, changing that lifestyle first. Right? Listen. And then and then and then look for the guy. Cause then it then it's then it's authentic. <laughs> You then, know what? If I had a guy with that was like Tiffany, you're the girl I want to spend the rest of my life with. But you need to give up like uh, the corn industry, give up this, give up that. You know, I'll analyze it, and depending what it is, and let's say it's everything I want and more, I'd be like, shit! I'll throw, I'll throw my past in the garbage can. I'll throw it down the trash you, and I'll be you're a not, new woman. But see, you're not doing it. For you, you're well. You are. You're doing it to benefit I'll you. Do, but, I'll do it. But it's for not me. authentic. It's not authentic. Well, it, it would be because it's like it, how it, is it authentic? If because have, if I'm going to be finding, if you need the incentive, if you need the incentive, if, you need if, the I'm, gonna, if I'm going to be finding happiness, and if I'm going to be happy, it's. But if you're it. think about it, why can't you make that change beforehand? Why does it take the guy dangling the lifestyle that you want to live in front of you in order for you to make that change? Because that means he not, doesn't it's, exist in my world yet. And you're never going to meet him if you live in the world that you're in. Well, I feel like I can well, be you like know, Peter your, Parker. Your feelings don't and mean shit. And I can shit. go and be Spider-Man and then I can facts, be Peter and Parker. Your feelings don't mean shit compared to the facts. The facts are like straight up. The facts are you're not going to find the guy that you want that's going to take care of you that you want in your life in the, in the line of work that you're in. That's, that's the reality, right? I'm not going to, if, if, I'm not going to find a non-drug addict in a druggy crowd, right? You have to change your environment. You have to change your, what you're doing so you're not, because all you're doing is looking in the pool that you're closest to, right? So you have to get out of that pool. You're yeah. going to have to want that change. You have to make the change first. That's how I got sober. I used to be a drug addict and I wanted to be sober. So what did you drugs. do? What did you do? Did you hang out with drug addicts when you were wanting to be sober? No, actually. You, you removed yourself from the drug addicts. No, right? I used to, I used to work a lot in the racing. I was like a, like a, as a photographer, I used to do media for insomnia. So it's like, I was always around the like cocaine and stuff. And so, yeah, I did have to actually remove myself. Exactly. From that. So, so take that metaphor. You had to remove yourself from that environment in order to sober up, right? Yeah. You're going to have to remove yourself from the industry you're in to find the guy. Yeah, but, but you know how hard it is when you're stuck in that industry to leave because you're already making enough money? So you need to go and I, find I, something I, else to equivalent that type of money. No, no, no. Because everything's so fucking expensive. Or you do it the hard way, right? You leave the industry. You find another career, right? You got to start from the bottom again. It sucks. It's not fun. It's going to be really bad financially at first. But if you authentically really want the change in your life, you really want to make that move, you have to be willing to give it up without any safety net. And you have to start from scratch. But my issue with that, what I found, because when I was when I was in my last relationship, I did leave the industry to get a normal minimum wage job. And you know what? I hate it. My life even more but you, working you that could, minimum wage you job. You could do more than minimum wage. Well, no, but what I'm saying is it, it's like for the job that I had to find at the time being and everything, like yeah. I had to find something quick because I needed income. Yeah. I but did I'm, that and I did Uber and I hated it. But the thing is you hated it, but it was probably a step in the better direction. No, I did not like it because I didn't like how people treated me because people like like people treat people in customer service like, like shit. shit. Yeah. Like absolute shit. And you know what? I'm the type of bitch that will choose violence. Well, here's the thing. Guys, guys don't treat porn stars any better. You're in the service industry. You're just serving up puss. And you know what? They'll pay for it. They'll smash it. They'll go. 
they're not they don't care about you as a person. You're just you're just a cum dumpster. Most damn one. <laughs> like that's fucked up. Like that's a little too far. But like but that's how that's how guys that's how guys will view you, right? And aren't you more than that? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm then, not every girl in my industry. No, I'm not saying, but I'm not talking about you personally. I'm talking about like, that's how guys view porn stars. They look at them like, oh, they're just something that, that all they're good is, they're only good for one use, right? In order to get that opinion changed, then they have to see that you're more valuable than, than just that, right? So, in order for them to see that value, you have to leave the pool, just like you left the pool of cocaine people. And left that industry to sober up, you would have to leave this industry to find the guy that you would want that actually value value you more than just sex. I'm a renegade, the rebel soul. Born to break the rules and lose control. I walk the streets with a restless heart. In a world where conformity tears us apart 